What's up guys, so this is the 10th anniversary update, they've introduced a bunch of new freezing weapons, so apparently they buffed the old skadies, so we're going to be testing this OG Fafnir build out today. Apparently they buffed the clip size for these, so we're going to be seeing how this uh, OG build does, bearing in mind it's the 10th anniversary. Here are the modules I'm going to be running, we have the Svea Tagore Belov guy, uh, as usual, and we have the new Frizo drone on here, so... Who knows how this is going to do? Let's find out in some games. Hey guys, did you know that you can now use my author's code when making purchases on the War Robots web shop? All you have to do is when you're checking out on an item, go to where it says enter an author's code and enter the code WOLFBLOOD7. This will give me a little bit of commission on the item and support my channel. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Okay, so game one, we've dropped in on castle map. We'll go ahead and start off with the Fafnir first. I'm not going to lie, I don't really think these are going to be that good because the reload is still apparently awful. But we'll see what happens. Oh, I remember the days when this used to be the most feared robot in the game. Those were good times. Oh, okay. That seemed like decent damage. I don't know. Let's try and hit this Seraph. I want to get an idea of the damage. Oh, wait, was that just me? Oh, we actually got a kill, so fair enough. There's a Seraph over there. Yeah, the reload does kind of suck still. But I think they buffed the capacity of the clip back to what it was back in the day. Okay, we might be able to take out this guy. I don't really uh, feel confident enough to push with this because I don't think it will last more than 5 seconds. Uh, we're on a double kill at least. Maybe we can get this um, links. To be fair, the damage doesn't seem too bad. They do definitely need to get buffed a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. I know that the Ravana is um, dealing damage there too, but still. Look how slow the reload is though. I'd say if they pretty much... Well... At this point, if they buff these back to how they were um, when they were released, they probably still would under <laughs> underperform in today's meta. We got a triple kill. That's pretty good. What is that? Is that a hover? It might be an Ares. Okay, yeah, but it's an Ares. Luckily for me, I have Shield Breaker. He has a wall, so fair enough. Okay, let's get this a fee and look at the damage that's kind of decent no one really charged me up there it does suck without the kestrel drone i'll be honest oh come on no i'm dead i'm dead oh no i think i'm good i don't know what was hitting me it might have been that mars to be fair a rampage is good oh well that's ggs come on can we just get this guy before we die no are you serious where did the shell go? Did, what? He just let me live. Godlike, what the heck? Okay, maybe the... Oh, wait. Wait a second. Come on. Yes, beyond Godlike with a Fafnir. That's crazy. In Champion League. Oh, I think I'm dead this time, though. How did I survive that long? Oh, look at the beacons. That's a massive downside to running, like, whatever robot you want. If you don't run anything, like, good in Champion League, then your team apparently just can't cope without you. But there we go. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. I wasn't expecting that build to do so well. I was still first, even though I got... I basically did nothing. But yeah, we'll take a look at the honor points, and we'll drop into another game with that Fafnir. Okay, so game two, we have Yamantau. This is going to be interesting. We're keeping up the snowy theme, which is kind of nice. I am half expecting to get deleted this time by a Shenlu. Um, I was very surprised that didn't happen in the first game. But yeah, that was definitely a massive fluke that we got beyond godlike with it on the first game. That was really crazy. But we'll see. Oh, it's Wait, is that a Pathfinder? I think that guy's a Pathfinder. Well, we'll find out when we get to 600 meters. Yeah, it is! Finally, someone else can suffer through how awful those new weapons are. The hurricane didn't work for a reason. 
That's why no one uses the hurricane, because that whole mechanic of the hurricane sucks. Look, he can barely hit me. That's crazy. Imagine we can kill that guy. That would actually be so funny. That's the first other one that I've actually seen, I'll be honest. I, I've, well, I only ran mine, I think, for about four or five games, and then I just got bored of it. And it's not even in my hangar at this point. Because it's just boring to play. Oh, wow. Okay. I know that's only a siren. But these weapons got such a bad nerf. The fact that they're even able to still do damage in 2024 Champion League is amazing. That guy's Pathfinder actually just got destroyed. I don't really know what the like future is going to hold for the Pathfinder. But so far, it really doesn't seem to be too bad. I know I said that. I think I said it uh, with the Curie before. And now look how OP that is. So there might be another round of uh, nerfs coming soon. And then once that's happened, the Pathfinder will become the best bot in the game. That was pretty much what happened to the Curie. Oh, we actually got a kill. That was an Ochakochi. We killed an Ochakochi with the Skady build for the Fafnir. That is crazy. It would be nice to kill a Titan though. But I just don't think the reload is good enough on these for that to actually work. Oh, they just dropped uh, Eiffel. Well, we did. Oh, we actually killed him! That was so lucky. How on earth have I actually just got a kill there on a Titan? Let's go! I swear they have a... Where did that Shenmue go? They had a Shenmue. Oh, Jun, I think I hit the bridge. How is that the bridge? Oh, it's not the bridge. Can we get this guy? Oh, okay, we can definitely kill the Al Jun. Surely. Yes, triple kill. Bro, can someone kill that stupid Dagon that is just being too loud? That's genuinely annoying. Why is he not just firing his weapons like a normal person? Is that a Newton? I feel like this is a more realistic run of what this build can do. That first game, I genuinely got so lucky. I don't know how I managed to even do that. This guy Shenmue is going to come after me. But yeah, this is... It's not really the most entertaining build to play, but then... Oh, no. He won't notice me. Oh, he actually didn't notice me. He might come after me, though. Can we get the Ares? No, we didn't get him. What the heck is this guy doing? Oh, no! He hasn't got Shield Breaker, though, so he should be good. If he's anything like me, he'll get bored and go somewhere else. And I think that's what he's actually going to do. Yes! Let's go! We survived the Shenmue attack. Oh, come on. I have to get that guy. That stupid Dagon. Yes, we got him. Even though he's literally spamming all his weapons at once. I genuinely... Oh, he died. What a shame. Oh, he killed the Shenmue. Let's go. Okay, this is a much more real kind of performance of how this build probably does like on average. So, okay, we need to hunt this guy down. Come on, let's kill him. Yes, triple kill. I actually, I'm impressed at these weapons. I did not think that they were this uh, usable in Champion League. Obviously, they're nowhere near meta. Oh, this guy's going to literally burn me alive. But yeah, these weapons, I think they'd actually be really good in low, in low leagues. I might invest in some. On my baby account. I think I have a corrupted Skady. Also, I'm still at full health. Pretty much. I might just go over there and see what else I can do. It was a bit random that they buffed these weapons. But, I mean, fair enough. It's the 10th anniversary. So, there we go. They have a Nightingale. And a Luchador. How much damage can we do to him? Oh, right! That's decent! That was like a quarter of the clip. If we had a full clip, we might have killed him. How has this bed we're not killed me yet? I kind of want to last the whole game, though. I think I just ruined the chances of that because uh, this Luchador is going to get me. Okay, I got uh, taunted by the bed we're... Oh, okay, I'm dead, 100%.
Well, there we go. The game's about to end, so I might just uh, drop my Titan in center and literally just wait for the game to end. Right, there we go. I'll probably just uh, speed up that part of the video. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's how we did with one Fafnir. I don't expect it'll be a lot of damage. Oh, 2.4. I mean, for that build, that's kind of decent. We only got six kills, one assist, and one beacon. Here are the honor points that we got there. Um, but yeah, I think that was a much more realistic game uh, for that build. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that gameplay of the Corrupted Fafnir. Yeah, a bit surprising that they've buffed these weapons, but Pixonic make weird choices. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.